Hi guys, so in today's video you're gonna find out why you can't close sales when you're nice. Like that sounds really ridiculous at the beginning, but like uh, we're gonna go with an example of uh, my friend who's been trying to close sales for a month, but he was being really nice to people and he was not really able to acquire any customer like this. So he was getting on the calls with them and he was doing everything perfectly, like going with the process and then, you know, qualifying customers, using all the sales techniques everything perfect but the problem was that he was really oh my god i just took flip flops off to show it. and like um the floor is really 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 hot like if you touch it it's just so hot so like if you get a nag and if you put on it you, <laughs> you can make a nag like this you can put a pen on this floor i think and like you can literally like fry egg okay it doesn't matter so what this guy did is like was he super nice to them and then i told him every time like hey like he's asking what's the problem it's like listen you're just too nice to people like you're just too nice to them you can't be that nice to them and it's like it doesn't make sense right like i'm a nice guy i want to be nice to people of course like i don't want to be an asshole like me personally like i'm not an asshole type of guy and like he's not an asshole type of guy so we have a problem like this and i had a problem like this for a very long time so in this video i want to share with you a solution uh how to be able to close sales even though like deep inside your soul you are a nice guy and like yesterday uh, no actually today like today he did call me and he's like hey i uh stopped being nice and uh, i got a sale so in this video i will try to reframe your thinking so you can be able to close sales even if you're nice inside yourself so the thing is that if you're nice to people for some reason you know it's psychology so i don't want to get into this too much but they feel you're lower than them and because you know you are you know not superior to them but you're inferior to them because of that they will not buy from you so people tend to buy from people who are superior to them for some reason we don't need to get into that either this is psychology but this is true they want to buy from people who are you know superior to them well there is a reason for that of course they feel like those people know better what the other guys should do they you know feel like those guys who are superior to them are qualified to tell them what to do now when people are inferior to them they need to qualify themselves and you know I'll give you an example like you know we are you know constantly being conditioned to think like this the example is if you go to a restaurant or a hotel the you know the guy at the hotel be like super nice to you like the guy who's like carrying your luggage be like super nice like the waiter in the restaurant is like super nice to you, like, hello, sir, hello, sir. And, you know, we are being constantly socially conditioned to understand that, you know, to think that if someone's like really nice to us, like really, you know, like serving us a lot, we kind of feel like they're lower than us. That's, you know, that's how our society works. And then, unfortunately, we get conditioned all the time when someone is like, okay, you did this, you did that, like superior to us, like a teacher at school or something like that or a boss at work, we get to think, we get, you know, we conditioned that these people tell us what to do. Like, for example, your parents when you're young, they are superior to you, obviously, they tell you what to do. So you get used to listening to them. And uh, this is why it works with sales. This is why when you are in a way superior, when you hold this frame of not being super nice, uh, then you are, you know, telling them what to do. So why, what does like being nice have to do with being superior to someone? Well. Uh, in a way that it works in a way that if you're nice to people it means that you're qualifying yourself so this is like how psychology works like if you're really nice it means that you're like trying to qualify yourself to like get to their level and this is why being nice makes you uh, inferior to them so you know what to do like if you're a nice person like you understand that like it makes sense right it makes sense that you don't want to be too nice to them and just one example like really good restaurants really really high-end restaurants if you go there the waiters are not really nice and this is funny you know this is actually sales like what they do is they are not really nice so you're trying to qualify yourself like my friend like he went to like super high-end restaurant in new york recently and he's like you know the waiter is not nice so he's thinking like hey i'm paying so much for this food here and i had to book a table and all this stuff and wait for a month to get there and like the waiter is like not even like really nice so he left like a you know like hundred dollars tip or something because he felt like you know subconsciously he felt like hey I need to qualify myself better so the thing is that you know after he left the restaurant he's like oh, what the hell like what did I do like why would I leave a tip like this but this is how you know human psychology works they want to be accepted by others so 
this is true you understand that now how you can change it if you're a nice person well if you're like naturally an asshole it's gonna work for you already you don't need to do anything you just keep being an asshole the wrong thing is that you're not gonna be empathetic so you're not gonna understand what their problem is so you better work about being empathetic but if you're empathetic already and if you're a nice person what you need to do what you need to focus on is to stop being that nice so the way to do that the secret formula is that you need to reframe your thinking like you can't really think that you know you're not nice anymore it's not gonna work for you I could can't just become an asshole like this but what you can do is think that okay if I'm not gonna help this person something bad gonna happen to them because naturally as a good person you want something good to happen to them right you want good for others so you need to think hey if I'm a bad person uh, if I'm not selling to this person if this person is not buying from me then this means that I'm really bad guy like it's something terrible is gonna happen to this person like I know they're gonna die or something or you know like their business is gonna fail they're gonna end up homeless on the street all this stuff so this is how you can reframe your thinking to actually help them to get your product and you know have better life so this is how you can reframe that and you know example from today like the guy is trying to be nice for months straight of sales and like one day I tell him hey man man like stop being that nice and he called me like hey this is so crazy like I'm not being nice I'm keeping the frame I'm just like going with the process I'm just you know qualifying well and I'm just like okay okay let's move forward let's move forward not like laughing too much not like trying to be friendly or anything like this and bam here we go first sale for this guy and I hope it's gonna work for you guys thanks for watching this video make sure to subscribe and see you tomorrow let's explore more of this like Hoi city